<laughs> and it was like up, like up to his, like past his belly button. So he felt it up from the pants, like over it, and was like, "What yeah. is?" Like he feels it up and down. Like he really checks it out. Like, and then he, he slipped his. The cop just slipped his business card into the guy's front <laughs> pants, and he's like, "My wife and I will be calling you later." Yeah, he quit the force right after that. Doesn't matter. Whatever. This type. This type of food poisoning made me shit for three days. Your Not whole hockey kidding. team watched the OC. Yeah. That's Just boys being boys, baby. <laughs> Good evening. Oh no, we're we're back to we're back to to our, the original FHP days Friendship Hour podcast. If you're listening on audio, we are in Zoom virtual reality because Oren is quarantining because his girlfriend came back from another country. And now I'm uh, I'm I'm at home in the evening. I've got a drink. I've got something to drink. I've I've got, I've got my Jay Celine. What are you, what are you doing? House. What are you doing? Uh, vodka, vodka, soda, mm-hmm. or just water? Vodka soda made fresh from the from the Israeli soda stream. I really vodka. hope that it's only recording my audio on my end and not the shitty audio that I'm hearing from you as well. Because I hear you from your computer. So whatever. I think it's gonna be fine. I think it's only no, recording no, my I'm audio. Getting... Why would it? I, I don't imagine. I don't think it would because you yeah. should be getting uh, you're directly. F- it doesn't matter. Don't let. Them yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. Welcome to FHP. I am Warren Spiro. And with me, as always, is Jay Celine. Did you say Warren? No, I don't say. You know, it's funny. I was literally just hanging out on my balcony and my and my neighbor was there, too. Mm-hmm. And then we have a neighbor who because we live in an area where like everyone's on their balcony. We're pretty much just staring at each other. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And there was a guy across the way and. My uh, my neighbor like started talking to him, which is so annoying because they're yelling at each other. <laughs> of course, across like, the alley, <laughs> like fucking two crows just having a beef, having a useless conversation. She's like, I saw that you like. First of all, she said she's like, I saw that you have a light in there, like one of those U lights, you know, like what is that for? And I was like, What's Don't a U light? It's like <laughs> also, one of those yeah, lights what? you put around a camera kind of thing that brightens up oh, everything okay, that's okay, in front yeah. of the camera. Yeah. I'm like, we don't want to know. Like, maybe <laughs> we don't want to know what that's for. When you have one at home, yeah. you know, in your bedroom, because yeah, that's yeah. what we see. We see the bedroom because they have a giant window it's there. It's two things. Either he's a TikTok uh, magnate trying to make money off teens, or he's a, uh, a, a web ca- a sex, uh, cam sex maniac. Yeah. I'm like, don't Making break, money like, off teens. So that's what I said. Like, uh, you know, she he says like I'm a photographer. You know, he had this whole thing, and I was like, we thought it was for o- we thought it was for your OnlyFans account, you know? Okay. And, uh, and I'm like, we're just looking for the link, dude. I'm just looking for the link. <laughs> and she just yelled at it from across the street. Yeah, was, OnlyFans. I was like, you don't don't break the illusions. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't break the illusion that. But yeah, I did scream OnlyFans because I wanted the laugh. I haven't gotten a good laugh in a long time, so <laughs> I risked screaming that across the alleyway for the laugh. <laughs> All right. Well, good for you, dude. And um, yeah, and then uh, I got a thing, and I, and I was just singing one of my favorite songs, and I realized you fit into it perfectly. What's that, dude? Jaceline, 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 Jaceline. Okay, because uh, okay, because you're saying my name wrong. That's the joke, right? Jaceline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ugh, your stupid beady little eyes. I can tell you, smoking the marijuana tonight. You fuck up with the podcast. You smoking the marijuana before the podcast. And you fuck up your dreams and ambition, and you fuck up your life with you a sound, marijuana cigarette. You sound like my <laughs> like your everyone I've, anyone I've ever met who cared about me. Yeah, <laughs> sound just like your Israeli father. Hey, me, I'm an Israeli man. Hey, <laughs> oh no, we occupy the land. <laughs> oh no, the wall is made of polenta. No, it's a very soft wall. That's funny. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so it yeah. was a uh, so it was a nice afternoon. Nice afternoon. Uh me too. My my girlfriend uh opened the front door on my face right before this. I don't see it. I know. That's what I'm saying like if you if we um if we had done it tomorrow, I think the wealth would show up, which is nice. And I was also saying that uh honestly, um in the relationship, this is the second time, <laughs> actually it's the third time. Really if I'm going to say it, Why? it's the third time what? That oh after like something happens and you just have a weird excuse about why you have an injury. Now look, I knew you for yeah. several years before yeah. you started dating your girlfriend, right? Sure, yeah. And you never had a weird injury out of nowhere. <laughs> no, you're right. Now you've been dated how long? How long have you guys been dating? It's been a year. A year? What's a year? It's not that long. In a no. year, this is the third injury 
<laughs> that there's a, a mark that you have some random weird excuse about. Yeah, and it's, I'm uh, telling you, it's if you were a woman, the police would be called. This would be this whole relationship would be over, and I wouldn't listen to his lies anymore. <sighs> and the name I, is. I don't want to fuck uh, this up for anybody, but okay, I just want to make sure I can hear myself. Sorry about the tapping. I just did. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm. I'm gonna call the police on her. Um. <laughs> All right, now I can hear myself. Cool. Uh, yeah. What's up? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Dude. We can do this. Is, Zoom sucks, man. There's already Zoom this sucks, but also we're all, we're also both a little toasty. I can I can tell. So it's nice. My, I, nice. I'm on the, I'm on my game right now. You're okay? on your I, game? Brought to, I, I brought a few little tidbits. They were funny off the yeah. top. Uh, did and you know that pigeons are uh, one of the only non mammals that produce milk? That's dis- there's pigeon milk. There's pigeon milk, which also uh, before we get to the, to the jokes about it, uh, before we start ripping uh, riffing. Uh, it's it's a very short list of non mammals who produce milk. It's actually pigeons and your mother. That's the two. Oh, because <laughs> she's a non mammal. Yeah. All right. Well, well, don't actually, fucking say that like that and ruin everything. I get it because she's a non mammal. Because yeah. you don't like my mother personally. I get exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. Um, uh, no, but imagine just a baby pigeon just sucking on. A, do pigeons have nipples? That's the next question. Do pigeons yeah, obviously. have? Obviously, obviously. Where have else does the milk come from? Their throat? Just, Where do they puke it up on? on no, the, no. On the baby? I, was, I was picturing every every claw on the foot is a nipple. You know what I mean? Like is a little, like when you like when you like, <laughs> you know, like if you take like a like a latex glove and you fill it with water and you just poke a hole in each finger and it's just like yeah. that, but for pigeon claws. An udder, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's essentially you described an udder. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> a big balloon with all these little teats coming out of it. You mean an udder? Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> I can't imagine that it's real. Like maybe they have nipples. Why are they different than any other bird? Why is the why are they? I didn't like the, look into it. I just know now from right. the Wikipedia page about non non mammal milk givers. I can imagine then, like, I wonder what their cheese tastes like. What, what <laughs> pigeon cheese? <laughs> it's just like an ashtray. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just, just, it tastes like Under the Bridge. It tastes, it tastes like the Red Hot Chili Pepper song, Under the Bridge. <laughs> hmm, this, is a, this is a ripened cheese. This is, if I haven't tasted this, what's that? That's pigeon uh, cheese. Okay. All right. Well. Undertones of heroin and <laughs> cigarette butts. Enjoy best in an alley. Yeah. Did you hear about this? Uh, Guy from uh, the New Yorker who got fired. For, oh, for um, jacking off for doing what we're about to do after this po- after we stop reading record. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it is the funniest. Most I think there's like a lot of guys out there that have had a nightmare the second that was released. Of like, course. Oh Dude, my God. I was on a Zoom call. Like nothing bad happened, but like I like the way my my computer is set up for work is that like I have two big screens, and if I like now we have to be on camera for Zoom calls at work for some reason. Yeah, they did and that so, to us too. So like to check something on my screen, my like my laptop goes in front of my screen. So I like lowered my laptop and I just gave this lady a full frontal of my just crotch, <laughs> you know. Thankfully, I was wearing jeans that day. Like it yeah, was better than good. sweatpants, which is better than the shorts, which is better than the nothing. You know what I mean? There's like a every day of the week is different, and she happened to fall on jeans day. Oh my God! Could you imagine? But I feel like also, that's... let's just say that the guy. Let's just mention that the guy's name, the New York Times reporter. Yeah, yeah. His name is what Jeffrey Tubin. Yeah, and I Tubin know. sounds like like a like a toddler's ver like what the toddler's word for dick. You know what I mean? He, Mama, he touched my Tubin, which is like an awful like just like oh, did you tube today? Did you go Tubin? <laughs> uh, the, the 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 reporters had a field day. You know, they just went nuts when those when that when that came out. They're like, oh, the headlines we could be writing. I haven't looked at any of them, but I'm sure they're hilarious. <laughs> I'm sure they I'm let not them up to slide. Date whatsoever on 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 the news but boy can you imagine the headline too been to the good times or like uh i don't know <laughs> it's just it's just it's such a nightmare it's so funny i've had, i've had the feeling before that like like i have two laptops i have my work laptop and i have my personal laptop yeah me too but my work laptop tends to be open a lot like even if it's not on it's open you know and like the truth is i know the it guys at my work they can just tune <laughs> they can tune in whenever they want if they yeah. want to tune in they could tune in you know <laughs> if they're just curious they tube in eh, eh? oh they eh? could tube they, yeah, tube in that's right they tube in um uh, what so, i do to remedy that is i use my work laptop laptop as a station to put i put my regular laptop on uh, top of it on top yeah that's that way, well, no one's looking at me. Thing is, that it kind of turns me on the idea that they might be. So, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to give that up. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, I thought that was uh, just the funniest. It just seems like um, I mean, there was a TV show, I think called Calif- Californication. Is that right? Have you? Yeah, you that was that? good. A lot of a lot of boobies in there. Titties and uh, uh, what was it? Not Meryl Streep. Not one of the. Was it Meryl Streep's? No, what's the other one? The fucking the one with the big honkers. <laughs> Anyways, her daughter's <laughs> on the show with big honkers. And it was good very one, good Jason. for like a young twenty, you know, like a twenty-year-old Jason. It was a very good time. For Who's me. not? Who? I'm trying to figure out who it's is. It's not, not Meryl Streep. It's Julianne fucking, Moore. Not Julianne Moore, but another redhead with like big eyes, who's like a fucking Hollywood, uh, you know, sixty-year-old Hollywood star who's been a star forever. Julianne got, Moore. No, it's not Julianne Moore. She's the only other. I don't think of big honkers when I think of Julianne. No, Moore. me neither. Also, me, I never use the word honkers in my yeah, life. Yeah, you've said it like seven <laughs> times, and it's making me question you as a person. I always say there's this one. Sometimes this could be one moment that makes you question a friend forever, and honkers might be one of them, dude. <laughs> you ever have one of those things where you just saw when your friends do something, you're like, "Wow, that I don't know who you are anymore." <laughs> uh fuck. I don't know. Just wait. I, sorry, I'm, I'm uh, busy looking up who this chick is. Susan Sarandon's daughter. Oh, good call. There is one more. Yeah, Stand corrected. More. You were definitely right. Susan Sarandon. I don't know why. I don't think of her with big titties either. Man. Also, I don't think of her as a redhead. Honkers. I just realized. <laughs> think of those honkers. I don't like that at all. It sounds like a neighborhood in like upstate New York. Yeah. That's yeah. Funny. Well, no, not upstate New York. Honkers. A part like a borough, New York. I'm from. I'm thinking of Yonkers. Is what I'm thinking of. You know when you uh, want to riff, but then you just deconstruct the riff your own uh, self. I was thinking because we were we were with uh, <laughs> when we were with Pantelis, there was a lot of broad, a lot of broads, a lot of a lot of yeah. I said broad, broad. yeah. You say, but I was like, saying it. I I said it as a joke, wink, wink. You know, but they were like, yeah, you know, broads, <laughs> you know, broads, they're broadly, and um, yeah, there was a yeah, lot that was of that. Great. Which is one of the words yeah. for some reason to me, I think is one of the most laughable ones. I I just think it always yeah. comes. I, I don't know. Fox. That was yeah, one of my first like, bits. Was about the about about a. In, Imagining a dude saying, calling a girl a fox. A fox. Oh yeah, that's yeah, exactly. But yeah, that, fox, a dame. You know, you know, a couple of a couple of sticks on. Uh, huh? <laughs> Those are classy huh? to me for some stupid way. Like you have whiskey on your breath and uh, you just solved a crime on a rainy night. Yeah, it's a but noir detective. Hey, I don't see broad fox. with that as much for some reason. That box. Jesus Christ! You just. I said you just, fox. Oh, I, I said fox. You said, Look at that box. <laughs> <laughs> that gash. <laughs> yeah, that one's. Really no, that's cool. worse, man. Beautiful, better than me creature. That's what I say. Yeah. Look no, at that okay. creature that was created in an image better than mine. That's what I say. And that's what you say every day. Yeah, every day. Um, yeah, I was thinking about that. I, I, I that just because you know I'm a A D D D D D D D D D D thinker, and you brought up uh, like you made me think all the other D's stand for dick. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking like reasons like like that's one of those things that I just didn't like you, and I heard that. I was like one time I was at a friend's house and um, I always knew he was kind of like a um, bit of like a weird dude, like uh, introverted, but also just like, I don't know, someone you can't believe that he takes care of himself every day kind of person. Right. right? But I was there and he's like, want some coffee? And I was like, sure. And uh, he was making instant coffee. OK. Uh-huh. And he had the mug and instant coffee. He has like the the grinds, those magic crystals that are in the cup, you know? Yeah. And he has a kettle boiling fucking hot water. Right. And he's pour, he pours in – he's making himself the first coffee, and he pours in the hot water into this cup, and it, it brings it all the way to the top, you know? And I was like, that's – you can't even get that to your face without it, you know? There's and no so, room for the stir. And there's no room How for the stir. How are you going to stir? There's no, there's no room for anything. Yeah. And it's piping hot, dude. Of like, course. It's like, boiling hot water, yeah. So he, he spills out a little bit, just tips over the glass a little bit, and it completely going on his hand and must hurt like a hell. But he's trying to make it look like, yeah, this is completely normal. Yeah. Then he pours milk in to the point where it overflows more onto his hand, okay? And then he slowly <laughs> pours it out more as it's, and breaks it down to like maybe three, cu- three, three quarters of the cup is full. He's poured that much out of it onto his hand into the sink. His hand is r- glowing red, okay? Like, and he's just sitting there talking to me now as if everything is completely cool and i'm like dude that is like there's something loose there another thing he wants once we were walking he had a chain wallet and the okay wallet, but for, wait for, like you think that that means that there's something wrong with him and he's not just like socially inept i mean that's not socially inept maybe that's why he just didn't want me to know that he was in pain that's yeah of he course he's like i'm a man i'm a man i'm a man <laughs> that's so crazy to me. oh i gotta i gotta gotta be a man in front of warren 
Yeah, because one time we were walking and he has a chain wallet, which is a whole other, like I love the dude to like I love him, but he's got a chain wallet. Why do you have a chain wallet? You know, uh, and the the wallet was loose. Okay, the wallet was loose. <laughs> Good thing he had the chain, if you think about it right now. Because, <laughs> it's dragging behind him. Th- yeah, because but it's a, a tight chain, so it was right at his crotch level. It's a tight but, chain. Like it's like a loose chain that goes. Okay, because I, I was picturing like I was picturing like a guy who goes to like a corn concert. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like. Like a guy who knows every every word to freak on the leash. He figures his wallet is the freak on the leash. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But he can only afford it. He looks at his wallet instead of like bad motherfucker, like in Pulp Fiction, it's just his freak with a with a backwards K. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bad motherfucker. <laughs> I know a few people with that wallet. Um, yeah. In high school it was the fucking sickest thing in the world. Pulp fiction. Yeah, that's true. Uh so we're walking and this and this wallet's loose and it's because we're walking, it's swinging around. You know what I mean? Like you know, like when you walk, like let's say you have a shoelace done, like the, it that shoelace makes magic happen. It like swings behind your leg and around your leg. Right. And so the same thing's happening with this wallet, but it's it's slapping the front of his dick and then just <laughs> swishing to the other side. I and would then, imagine and, a guy like that to have a trusty cargo a pocket to be empty for him to to put the wallet in you know what i mean like that's a man with a cargo pant that's a man with several cargo pockets yeah and even a bag it sounds like this is the type of guy would even have some sort of a bag on him yeah uh, like a plaid a plaid dickies bag yeah yeah or like a letter like a the letter holder one yeah uh so he's (laughs) and he's just letting it and i'm like looking i notice it and it's literally it's just slapping his dick on every second step he takes yeah and i stop us and i'm like dude you have to put that back (laughs) in your pocket i don't understand how you (laughs) yeah he's okay he's alive so that's good it's funny, before you said he had a chain wallet, just like from imagining like a socially inept like guy who would like pour scalding hot coffee on his hand by accident, like and not say anything. Yeah. I was imagining a guy who like a different kind of metalhead, not a corn guy, but a guy who listens to Muse. You know what I mean? I don't know them, but yeah. You don't Oh yeah, yeah. They have that one song that I think I do know. Okay. Well like, oh, you hear this song and I'm like, no. I feel <laughs> I like, like yes. ugh, fuck. I feel like okay. I got like a specific image in my brain of Muse fans, and I feel like they just do algebra for fun. And they just, I don't know, they write fan fiction. And I, to what? Fuck, to it would like help the, a lot more if you, if you listen to Muse at all. They're right, they're, they, they, they have like the third and fourth season all the way up to written for Firefly when it, when it comes back, you know? Yeah. To go. Yeah. That's yeah. a good, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, so what else about Muse? I feel like, I don't know. There's something about like, I feel like they have like a collection of swords and they have a lot of pinstripe suits. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. All right, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, the pinstripes. That, that's the pinstripe shorts that we talk. That's like the name yeah. of one of our episodes. Yeah, that's like the guy we're trying but to describe. Pinstripe shorts is different because that guy's a chain wallet. That guy's Metallica. This guy's a pinstripe okay, suit yeah. with a little red handkerchief yeah. coming out of his pocket. You know, a very What's classy gentleman. What's the S that people used to make all the time? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. The, the S. <laughs> what is the S? What, what like what Slipknot is that who it was for? No, it was nothing, dude. That's existed since the dawn of. That was the first letter ever written. Was that? <laughs> that was. If you look at cave paintings in the in the in the caves of Croatia, you can find that S. It's just that chain S thing. Yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah. You sure that's not a band or something? That is as old as time. Just like that guy with just the nose poking out and like the hands over like yeah. a wall. You know that doodle you've seen? Sure. Yeah. That was drawn in like World War Two in the trenches, baby. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it as fact. I'll now know that as a fact, and I'll never question it. Please, please don't question it. Yeah, man. I was um. I was also talking to uh, my neighbor about my cat, my stupid cat. Now the other day, now you know how my cat gets outside, or lives outside pretty much, which is great yeah. for me because uh, it is great. Uses the bathroom out there. I don't have to worry about it. But um. She goes out the front, uh, the back only, because in the front she seems a little confused. There's lots of cars there. The back is alleyways. It seems safe, right? And when she yeah. comes in from the front, uh, like if I see her in the she's front, she's got like, like just the the painted dark stripes under her eyes, like she just went to war. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Except it's just a, it's like a bird's blood. You know? Yeah, <laughs> she's covered. Blood. Like the paws are dripping blood when she walks <laughs> yeah. in. It's just like what yeah. happened. You don't want to know. Yeah, you don't want to know. Um, but whenever I see her in the front, like if I'm walking home, she can see me from across the way and she just like needs to like, uh, she like follows me and like, let's go back into the house, you know? So if, sometimes like if I'm just running out of the house to go do an errand, like just go to the dep real quick, yeah. uh, I don't want to bump into her. Cause if I bump into her, I'm gonna have to bring her back into the house. Otherwise she's going to follow me to the goddamn, like wherever I go. You know what I mean? Adorable. Not adorable. You're like a Disney princess. Cause I'm, <laughs> yeah, right. But with this annoying thing that hates me and just wants food. <laughs> 
So I like get it. So like I, if I see him, I see her, I got to like go all the way back home, let her in the house and then go back on my way. Right. So the other day I'm like leaving um, the house and I see her across the street, but she's flirting with this random person. OK, like she thinks anybody in the street is someone who's looking for her to give her food. Like she's like, oh, I'm here, by the way. You were looking for me. How amazing is this? I'm here. Where's the food? So she's on her back. She's flirting. And I have to, I'm walking by. I'm like sick. She's not going to see me. You know? And I like walk by and I put my hand like above my head, like at my head to like hide myself as I'm walking by her. Like as yeah. if like I'm bumping into an ex-girlfriend in a <laughs> mall or something. That's how I treat my cat when I see her on the street. Walking by her like that, like hiding my face. <laughs> so uh, Sorry, I got distracted during that story because um, I, took a, uh, a, I, I took a little puff from my vape, which was plugged into my computer. And as I did that, for some reason, because it's plugged into the USB of my computer, it stopped the recording of my audio. Oh, no. And it's fine. I restarted the audio. I started a second file. But it like it's it, it, something fucked up. I don't know. Because weird. you took a haul of your vape, it stopped. Because it was plugged in. <laughs> it's like your computer thinks that you're right. like Stephen Hawking and you control everything by <laughs> the breath. I don't know what the fuck's happening, man. It's like you control everything by the by two breaths, one breath. Like, you know, <laughs> move, right? <laughs> If Anyways, I ever lose uh, my, lose uh, the ability to control uh, any of my limbs and I have to have one of those blow things, I'll definitely yeah. have a vape right next to it. So it'll just be <laughs> vape, vape, blow, it's blow. Two puff system, right. baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I reacted during your story, but it wasn't recorded, so it's fine. It's okay, you know. Uh, okay, you're talking about your cat, my dog, but it, ugh, this dog, man. Uh, like when I when I moved in with my gr- what. What? What's she freaking? Relax, honey. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's listening to the podcast, because our, our listeners have been going up lately. Yeah. We have, uh, yeah. yeah. If you're listening to the podcast, Oren's uh, background is uh, Jackie Kennedy <laughs> crying because her husband got shot in, shot in the fucking dome. Just the fucking convertible wait, outside of Dallas. Wait, is that is, wait is that that's what's going on in this picture? Yeah, I she's not like... just showing her ass to everybody on the other oh. side of the knoll. I thought she was just mooning everybody, and those people behind her were like, "Woohoo!" By the way, thank you uh, to all the new listeners who are listening. Uh, next fifty uh, people who subscribe uh, gonna get a special gift from us. They're gonna get uh, a uh, pocket pussy shaped like Oren's asshole. Oh that's, my god! Uh, that's all right. That's our gift. It's actually it's a keychain pocket pussy. Yeah, it's just hair. You can't it's even just, find the asshole. <laughs> it's a ball of hair. <laughs> it never comes out. Uh, yeah. Then, uh, by the way, imagine getting pulled over with a pocket pussy on your keychain, and the cops <laughs> like, "What, son? What? What's that around? <laughs> what's that uh, dangling from your uh, keychain? <laughs> it's a vagina." I Have just am so of? tempted. I, I, I've like, there's a comic we know who wrote one of the funniest jokes about the flashlight. Um, Cameron's joke. Uh, I couldn't right. afford a flashlight, so I just emptied oh, a right. flashlight and filled it with shaved ham. <laughs> <It's> yeah, like, <laughs> that's, <joke. laughs> that's great. <laughs> yeah, look up Cameron good. Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, Cameron Phoenix. The I'm sure he loves us talking about him on a podcast. The only comedian who wants no exposure whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, I know so many. <laughs> One of the funniest comedians there. Oh yeah, whatever. Uh, I was just gonna say because you're talking about your dog, uh, your, your dog, your cat. My dog's been waking me up at 5.30 in the morning every fucking day the last four days by waking me up. Imagine waking up to the sound of your dog eating herself out. Oh, my God. <laughs> every fucking – just licking her pussy. That's so ridiculous. Just every day. First thing at 5.30 in the morning. Every day. And this is a dog who went from snapping at me every time I showed any sort of affection for, to my girlfriend because she didn't trust me to openly licking her pussy. And does she look happy when she does? It? Oh, she's she's swinking at me. <laughs> she's yeah, yeah. She's she's like shooting those little toy guns that sh- that that like a little little like unfurled uh, wrapper comes down and says "bam" on it. You know, she's oh doing pow God. pow. You know, do, do uh, they have like ex- do they have like the pleasure button? <laughs> I've called it that do they have before. clits? Are you just, like, asking? Do they have the? Do they have? Um, uh, Pog, F- FHP after dark, baby. We're we're yeah. going there. Yo, do they got? Do they? Do the dogs have clip? Do have we ever talked about this before? I don't think we need to talk about it. Because one time point. I was out. I was out for uh, once, like <laughs> looking for some dog pussy. <laughs> Your classic Saturday night. <laughs> um, I was out and um, and uh, at a friend's country house or something, and then we had, they had a dog that was licking their vagine and. Uh, 
I was like, that is a... Uh, I asked just out loud if dogs have clitorises, and it got very <laughs> awkward very quickly. <laughs> and my girlfriend uh, was looking friends. at me like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, why the fuck would you say that? It's so weird. I was like, I don't know. Just That's something know. that you just can't say in front of... Uh, front of some people you know yeah i guess so the, the whites the whites that's gross but also uh, i think that's every pet owner's life is like trying to sleep while listening to an animal lick itself i mean yeah it's, but not there no not necessarily there she but she probably I mean, has a problem actually is what's happening she probably we have to take her to that and she has a, it's a yeast to take her to that. she's eating the cream cheese out of it <laughs> <So> <laughs> <gross>. <laughs> Ugh. There was this street joke when I was a kid. It used to make me laugh so much. It was about this guy, this woman who gets uh, picks up a hitchhiker and he puts a gun at her and he's like, uh, and he's like, uh, take off your shirt. And she's like, oh, and she takes off her shirt. And he's like, take off your pants. And she takes off her pants. He's like, take off your underwear. And she takes off her underwear and she's got an awful yeast infection, like visibly gushing yeast infection, which I didn't even know what it was when I was a kid, but I just right. made me laugh. And then they'd be, and then, and then, so the guy got so, the hitchhiker got so scared that he dropped the gun and the woman picks it up, points it at him and goes, eat me out. <laughs> that's, that's the, the joke. joke. That's the joke. That that's horrible. That's laugh. disgusting. <laughs> It Such looked like an everything line. bagel. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> That's disgusting. Yeah, French power after dark. After dark, baby. Uh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was thinking back on like when, uh, like my life's going pretty good now. But I was thinking back with like when my when I started like fucking up at school and shit. You know? Yeah, you probably never did. You're such. A I did, I did. Uh, I in like fourth grade, I remember vividly. We went to Mexico for spring break. My parent like winter break or whatever. My parents and <laughs> not just me as a seven year old or eight year old. My whole <laughs> they family sent me we down went. to do some work. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Mexico and like I remember being on the beach and being like, "This is this is fucking garbage. This is like I like why try at school in life? Is this like this is this is what you work for? Is to go on vacation with your family?" And I went back to school after spring break, and I just stopped doing homework and shit. I just completely stopped. Like, you, wait, hold on, make, make me understand. Because you hate, you weren't happy on the vacation. You're like, if I this was is like, the happiest, then what's the point? This is of what even the happiest you're this? supposed to be. Okay. But and I was like, this fucking sucks. So what's the point of working hard to do anything? So I just stopped doing homework and started watching Seinfeld instead of doing homework. Yeah. And uh, you rebel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, basically, like, I just stopped doing homework and. I would forge my parents' signature on, like, the report card because they started failing. And, like, every week we had this mini report card and I started forging it. And I got in trouble with the fucking principal. And, like, parents were there. They had to call my parents into fucking school. I am turned on right now, Jason. <laughs> did you wear You're a leather jacket? turned on by eight-year-old me. <laughs> did you wear a leather jacket and uh, start the jukebox by kicking yeah, it? That was me uh, at my most badass. Yeah. Uh, point is, whatever. Fourth grade ends. Thank God. Get to fifth grade. I forget to do homework one time. And my fifth grade teacher in front of the whole class is like, I fucking heard about you. I heard about you and the shit you pulled in fourth grade. I don't know if you're swearing or not. The shit you pulled in fourth grade and also in third grade. You're fucking not doing your homework. You're not going to pull that shit with me. In my head, I was like, I was good in third grade. Where'd you get your info? You know? <laughs> I heard about you. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's so crazy. I know, man. It's, oh, it's the Cellini kid. I know about you. <laughs> you're the troublemaker. You yeah. signed your mama's fourth signature. Also, fourth grade is when I found out about periods. Oh yeah, how do they how do they teach that about to you? They didn't teach it to us because I went to like a French private school, so there's like everybody's a Ken doll and Barbie, you know. But I remember I learned about it because uh, one girl got it, and another girl was like peered over the stall in the bathroom and started making fun of her and called like a bunch of other girls in, being like, "She's having her," but. In French, they don't say Holy like I shit. guess they have another expression like avoir, like having your your des règles, which is like translates to having your rulers, which makes no sense. Okay. Uh, but they didn't say that shit. They said menstruating, like the proper term. And in my head, all I could picture was fucking monsters coming out of a girl's pussy, and it was the <laughs> scariest fucking thing <laughs> I ever heard in my life. Man, that's uh, I I first of all I remember seeing the pads in my mother's um like uh, like in in the bathroom growing up and I literally for years thought women wore diapers I just thought yeah, they were diapers me too. That, I, yeah and it made sense I, to me because I did understand the vagina was just like this like 
you know, like this injury, and, uh, <laughs> and it just needed to be bandaged up at all times. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I thought it leaked. There's like, a hole. I mean, yeah, exactly. I just figured it leaked sometimes. And, and unlike the belly button, there's no end to it. Yeah, exactly. It goes up to your intestines. <laughs> so I, I remember that. And then I remember, like, really never understanding it. And then in school, they taught us about... I remember they took it like I don't even know what they were trying to teach us. They just took a, a like a tampon and put it in um in a glass of water to show us how it expanded. <laughs> what is and, it? A commercial that's paid by fucking Tampax? Yeah, exactly. And I, I was a just sponsored health class. I was just floored. I was just looking at it. I think you know, what they were probably doing is showing the women how to use it, you know, which is probably a good thing. But um at the same Wait, time l- Hey ladies, you know how your pussy uncannily resembles a mason jar. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. this is what you do with it. Yeah, I don't know, man. And uh, yeah, and you put and the tampon up the pee hole, right? That's what I'm pretty sure. That's, what you that's how it works. All, all the way. I mean, but still to this day, I mean, not to this day, but like uh, years ago, uh, some girl went to pee, and I was like, said something like, "Did you take your tampon out?" And they're like, "What are you talking about?" And I was like, "Wait, you don't?" You, and they're like, "No," and I'm like, "But then didn't you at least pee all over the string?" And she's like, "Yeah." And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I was half right. I was half right, yeah. Proving that men know more than women. <laughs> I just watched... And then uh, you, you went back to reading your fucking How to Pick a Women book? Yeah. How to... Um, uh, who is, whose burn was that at a roast? That was very funny. Oh, I think it was uh, someone about... Uh, fucking maybe Ben Cardilli or something. Yeah, yeah. Spends all his money on pickup line books or something like that oh know. he looks like he has an allowance but he spends it all on uh pickup uh artist books artists yeah whatever we're butchering someone else's joke yeah killer. at a roast we were not paying attention to it was very funny uh, at the time um yeah cool i uh, <laughs> i was watching this video <laughs> did you ever see this video online that i'm sure everyone's seen it's so hack but uh it's just this video of this uh cop who's frisking a black man who's being very yeah. cooperative. <laughs> of course. That's the first video I saw on the internet when I was five. <laughs> Dude, it makes me laugh every time. I go to see if, it just to put me in a good mood. If uh, if I cut off the... If you haven't seen it, can you explain it again before so I don't cut it off again? Yeah. yeah it's, it's a cop and he's frisking this guy and uh, he's behind him and he's just feeling up and he's like, all right, whatever. He's talking to him and then he, he, he pats around his pelvis area. He's like, all right, what's this? And he goes, that's my dick. And he goes, that's your penis. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> Oh, that's your penis. <laughs> that's your penis. <laughs> he's very presidential about yeah. the way he like dealt with that. He's like, oh, that's your penis, and yeah. uh, we won't be talking about that anymore. And, and even the guy who's like, that's my dick. <laughs> that's, that's my, my dick. dick. <laughs> And but like, you also yeah, see how he's true. grabbing it because it's placed upwards. Like, I know he had like a hard, he had a yeah. hard dick. <laughs> yeah, he had like a hard dick, <laughs> and it was like up, like up to his, like past his belly button. So he felt it up from the pants, like over it, and was like, "What yeah. is?" Like he feels it up and down. Like he really checks it out. Like, and then he, he slipped his. The cop just slipped his business card into the guy's <laughs> front pants, and he's like, "My wife and I will be calling you later." And, uh, yeah, he quit the force. Do you also life. have a business card that you can give to him? He reached into his ass and pulled out. He pulled out business card. Every night before he goes to sleep, he's like, "I, I, I think I can fit it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think I could squeeze it in." Yeah, that's one of my favorite videos in the world. I still can't stay away from watching those stupid cringe videos. Um, I just enjoy them very much. Yeah, um, yeah, watching a lot of cringe t- TikTok videos, which uh, you can't really describe on air. You just got to go and experience it for yourself. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, go check them out, man. Yeah, give us recommendations. You know, this last week I uh, I did some, I was talking about my Jew songs, and um, we I, I was I was thinking we were gonna about get what, no comments. The Jew about what? songs, my Jew, Jew songs. Song. I heard Jew, Jew socks, and I was like, there's another keeper for the feet that I didn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> the Jew socks, yeah. Um, we got to separate ourselves from the ground, also, not just the sky. Yeah. Um, yeah, and um, which makes no sense, by the way, because the the forehead's fine. Like the front half of the head doesn't have to be separated from the heavens. It's just the back. Well, actually, we do that crazy. This is one thing that whenever I tell people who are not accustomed to Judaism, Judaism much, are freak out and think I'm lying about. There's two. There's one holiday where we dress up in costumes. It's all like our Halloween. It's called Purim, and it's in March. 
And I told that to one of my uh, ex's parents, and they thought like she got so mad at me because she thought I was trying to like fuck like, with them. Yeah, I was trying to fuck with her, and I just couldn't stop laughing. And I think that's why <laughs> she thought I was trying to fuck with her. Yeah, because I just couldn't believe how much she thought I was just coming up with shit. You know, it dude. Would, sometimes would... when the truth is too real, I yeah. laugh so hard, and everyone thinks you're lying because of course yeah, yeah. you like, of course it looks like you're lying, but like it's like I have nothing to hide. So I'm telling you the truth, but. Yeah, that yeah, holiday we yeah. all dress up in we all dress up in whatever. I've never heard of this one, by the way. It, it's this the is, same. Also... It's the same fucking thing that every holiday is about. Someone tried to kill all the Jews and we survived. And but on this one we dress up in costumes. It was, but Slipknot tried to kill all the Jews. So you have to dress yeah. up in Slipknot costume. Yeah, and um, and it's a funny one because there's like this thing we read, which is the story of uh, of the, whatever the holiday, and there's the bad. There's like literally a bad guy in it, which is great. It's like such a bad guy. He's just the villain of the story, and every time they say his name, they give us noisemakers, and we're it's supposed Mel to Gibson. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and every time they say his name, we have to like we have to make noise so that you can't hear his name being said. So we're all just in there with noisemakers the whole time. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's the stupidest time in the world. Um, you have uh, you have those vavuzelas from this from the African World Cup or whatever it was. Yeah, exactly. Never mind. All right. I don't even know what that is. They had like there was one World Cup. I can't remember if it was. I'm gonna sound like an asshole if I just <laughs> say it was the African World Cup, but it might yeah. have been the South African World Cup. I can't sure. remember if it was. There was something, and uh, they like everyone in the stands had these like noisemakers that you blow into. It's like a horn, but it just sounded like a bunch of bees. So it just sounded like all the soccer players were being attacked by bees for a month long tournament. Interesting. The Vavuzula. Zuzu, Vavuzula? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like just watched you try to figure it all out. Vavuzula. Um, Vavuzella? Yeah, but there's a weirder one. You know, like the leather straps thing that the Jews do. Stop it. You don't, you don't know that? Self-flagellation? Like, like fucking the guy in Boardwalk Empire? No, no, you not like that. You whip yourself in the back for fucking the sins of your day? No, no, there's this weird thing that Jewish people do, and their te- Tekken guys are supposed to do it every morning when they wake up. Um, it's uh, brush your teeth. No, uh, it's this thing where you, you wrap this leather strap around your arm, and it and ends. And you take a needle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it ends at your mu- at your bicep, and it has a box with a with a prayer in it, written by some magical rabbi or whatever. And then there's another leather strap that goes around your head. And the box is at your temple, like right at the temple. And it also has a prayer, magical prayer from the wizard Jew, whatever. And you say a bunch of prayers while you wear this ridiculous costume of leather straps. And then you put it away and you do go about your day. But um, I have them because every like, – most no. Yeah, most Jewish kids get them when they bar mitzvah. Uh, it's, uh, you have to do it. You do the whole thing. And you keep it forever? And you keep it forever. Why? Uh, Just fucking put it on uh, fucking Facebook Marketplace. See what you can get for it, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? You keep it forever. Well, I got to do my prayers, man. Stop making fun of my religion. <laughs> I'm to <don't laughs> keep making fun of your religion. <laughs> you got leather straps. You, you have to hire a dominatrix to fucking pray. What are you talking about? Yeah, but it's still tied to the exact shape of my head when I was thirteen. So, <laughs> which is the same size. <laughs> exactly. I just had to I don't know how you it. grew, dude, but I grew so fucking weird. I was at like thirteen or tw- at twelve. I was like five two with the same size head I have now and same size feet. I had size twelve feet and the same size head as now, just <laughs> on a much shorter frame. Yeah, I think we talked about this once. Like, if you fell, they, you'd fall. I think we talked about it after the podcast last week. I think you would fall into constant rotation if you fell off <laughs> something high, just because your head would. I this is like my favorite analogy, but like every time, like just when you have a water bottle with just enough water and you throw it, and just always yes. lands on the bottom. Yeah. Yes, we definitely talked about this. I remember that. Um, I was on a podcast uh, that released this week. You should check it out. It's called uh, No BS with SB. I um, also was on that podcast, and mine was much worse than yours, probably. Jason was on the podcast, too. Um, there was one comment that said, amazing guest, and that made my year. So uh, don't try to hate on me, because the world loves me. Who left that comment? Who left it? A, a strange person. Her name is uh, Adrienne LaChapelle or something like that. Oh, okay. Sh- shout nice. out Adrienne LaChapelle with, for amazing taste and <laughs> <of> humor. <laughs> Please follow us. Did uh, they? Did they? Uh, wait, what did you say? I missed it. Uh, just said, please follow us. So no, uh, the humor thing, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, did uh, did you shout out the podcast at all? We're we gonna get listeners from that. 
I definitely did. Uh, okay. I don't know. He only has I did mine before we started our podcast. He only has about like 35 views on it, so <laughs> I don't really know. Fuck. Uh, local comedian Amarez watched it. I talked about him in it, and he was pretty annoyed, and he sent me <laughs> a video of him in a disgusting stained sweatshirt watching it uh, on his laptop. I don't think he realized how gross he looked in the video and he, before he sent it to me. Um, but it was it was pretty funny. I actually think I've mentioned him on almost every podcast I've ever done because we <laughs> talked about him on Pentelis too. So I just yeah, we, <laughs> I think we even brought him up somewhere on the art loft. So I think I've really managed him to bring oh, him up. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, uh, he's gonna get such a big boner from that. But uh, it was it, I was on a lot of podcasts this week. So we had a lot uh, a lot of like listeners this week. So if you're back from last week, stay with us. Download the rest. Listen to those too. They're all funny. Uh, you know, you don't have to. Yeah. It's not. It's not like the show Twenty Four. Even though we are as cool as Jack Bauer and uh, Jason is my Chloe. Uh, still, I think I'm autistic uh, and <laughs> 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 I I don't know humor and I I don't know emotions and I I love computers and I know how to geo trace triangulate locations or whatever. Fuck. Pretty crazy that she's a stand up comedian. I know, eh? She's like in my like I've seen her twice on the street during uh, just for laughs in the summer. She performed at the hostel. She did. The yeah. show we run. That's right, baby. Before we ran it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Into baby. the ground. Um, yeah. So, uh, no, but that was a fun. It's a fun week for that. And uh, I'd like to see. Uh, I like to see the the views. I like the people are enjoying. I, I, I was trying to say before that I didn't think we'd get any comments, but we got several. But most of them got just got taken yeah. down because of the word Jew. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. We had like three fucking comments that were taken down because they had the word Jew in it. I don't know how to turn off the moderation from YouTube. Orin's like, please give us your favorite, uh, replace the lyrics with your favorite song with the word Jew. And then the only one that made it was the one who just put a link on YouTube to another YouTube video. Yeah, because he uh, probably knew. He probably was well aware that like, I don't think. You can't comment Jew on YouTube anymore. <laughs> you just can't say the word yeah, Jew. Like you're it. watching like a, like a, like you can't make it to your sermon. You're watching just like a regular prayer, whatever happening on YouTube and just like it gets taken down immediately for hate speech <laughs> yeah well what are you gonna do um but yeah it was what are you fun. gonna do and i got a good and one the best back. the best one was uh all i want for christmas is jews which that one is funny it works oh, that's, uh, uh, that's actually offensive to my people if anything i really wanted to go with uh like i remember i used to do that one and say all i want for christmas is to be a jew because then you don't have to deal with christmas so that kind of makes sense but yeah, it doesn't fit the, as well the gifts you don't have you to don't spend the, the money the, on the gifts. Okay, you don't get to to sit on an old man's velour lap. <laughs> yeah, I won't lie. The I sexiest of all the fabrics. That's what we're gonna address this man in. <laughs> Why did I want that man? I wanted I wanted a Santa Claus in my life so badly growing up. It's the one thing that I knew we didn't do, but I still want to go sit on his lap and go get a, a picture, and I want to get a like a candy, whatever he's gonna give me, you know. I don't know, man. I don't have that hole in my heart. You know what I mean? Don't have that. I grew up. When with did you like? When did you learn that he wasn't real? I remember having this con- like a real like like a conversation about like with my friends at the lunch table, like in maybe fourth or fifth grade. Mm-hmm. But like the way you would have a conversation about like theology, you know, like is the universe real? It's like, and we we came to the conclusion in like fourth grade or fifth grade that like. You know, Santa's not real anymore, but because, like, he used to be real. Third he died. grade, fourth grade. Fourth, right? fifth, fourth, fifth, yeah. Wow, fourth, yeah. fifth. You're so old. You're like 11, 10. I was like nine, yeah. And so you're discussing a round table with your friends. Yeah. Like, we know he's not real anymore, but he was at one point real, right? Like, he died. Like, he was not a god figure. He was a, he was a man with magical powers who, of course, immortality is not a real right. thing, but this right. man flew around the world and gave us gifts. Like, gave our like, ancestors gifts, and now uh, the tradition is passed on through our parents. And when did, when did you realize that Coca-Cola did all the work? <laughs> when did you learn that? What do you mean? That, like, the, the Coca-Cola... Uh, company in georgia uh dispatched uh, all their tiny elf men <laughs> no <laughs> what are you talking yeah, about when did you learn that it's actually the elves are actually making coca-cola and they created santa claus ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, man i think i just learned that right now dude what does coca-cola not do like like I, I've seen videos where you could take a, a rusted uh, dildo oh, right. and put it in there, and it takes away all the rust. And you, Which, by the way, if your dildo is getting rusty, please go to your doctor. Get a yeah. tetanus shot. 
And it's probably shit. It's probably not us. <laughs> uh, check check your uh, wait. Okay, so it's a dildo that's going into an asshole, not a front, not a pussy full of shit. <laughs> yeah, After pussy. dark, baby. Because <laughs> uh, I we lost I, for all some the reason. listeners. We lost them all. We just got all these listeners. No, last no, week. no. This is good for at least one person. One person's gonna double down on listen to every podcast twice. Oh my god. Um. Yeah. Uh. So they takes off the rust. Uh, I read that they were filming this um, this movie, uh, this new movie about this new character called uh, James B- Bond, <laughs> and uh, he's fr- he's uh, he's doing a crazy motorcycle stunt, and he goes zooming up, and that's a really cool stunt to watch. But they sprayed the streets of Italy with like. 12 million gajillion tons of coca-cola and that's how it. venice was created <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> and, and, and and just to make the it the canals sticky. of venice just the stickiest roads apparently they spent seven hundred thousand dollars or something like that why why just, would they need coca-cola because it makes because it makes uh the ground sticky when for what it, so, oh, when the, okay, so when the bike it. needs to land it has grip so that it doesn't go zooming off somewhere have um, they did they think of uh, glue? Did they think of like anything else? Just putting like <laughs> maybe it's not the Coca Cola, it's just the sugars in it, and just make a sugar syrup and use that. You know, they should have just taken you and just have you sit down butt naked on your asshole and just rub you around like a snail <laughs> and just use that. <laughs> just be hairy. The whole place would just be <laughs> littered with hair. Um, I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> and uh, so. They they wasted all this money. I remember I used to work at a restaurant and they were like, uh, we used to do the chalkboard and like clean it with Coca Cola because that really makes it extra clean. And you're like, you know what else? Water makes it clean. Like, <laughs> you're just listening to bullshit. Vinegar, you know? vinegar, water. You know. Yeah. So like here I am, like getting my hands all sticky in Coca Cola. We're wasting this shit. You know, it's like it's it's the. You just stick thing. the chalk on the chalkboard, just stand straight out at a ninety at a forty five degree angle. Yeah, and if Mexican Coke is so goddamn good, just make the same Coke everywhere else. What's going on? I don't understand. It we don't have uh, easy access to cane sugar. It's much cheaper to get corn syrup. Anyway, okay. moving on. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm just looking at notes here, just to, to kill the last ten minutes. Not to kill, no, to give quality content for the last ten minutes. Um, I remember uh, once on the on the on the metro before it was uh, Corona Central or whatever, like before it was scary to go on. Uh, I saw a dude reading a book. Yeah. Just like imagine like a six foot four, like stick of a man, cross legged, you know, reading a book like in the crevice of his legs. Um, and I he like lifted the book up. I think maybe to show the entire cart what he was reading, and it was uh, how to fence. How to fence. In a book. And I just love the idea of a dude learning how to fence. Get. Off your ass and buy a sword. <laughs> Just go to your local fencing uh, union. That All is right, such well, a rich. Per- that's such a rich person sports fencing. Yeah, you gotta buy the suit, a beekeeper suit. You gotta like, what do you put it like? Uh, what do they put at the tip of the sword? Why is it not sharp? I don't understand. How does that? It's work? like you know when you buy a new pen. Yeah. And there's that little ball at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you have yeah. to rip it off and like flick it at your uh, friend. That's what they keep. That's what they keep on the top of the. Sword. That's what's separating you and the blade. Yeah. On God. Touche. I mean, you got to love that. That makes me think of um, uh, the, the Three Musketeers. Yeah. Do you, wait, do you think you can murder someone with a fencing sword? Yeah. I know they wear the equipment, but like, honestly, let's, let's, let's like be honest here. Oh, no. I don't think it'll puncture through. They're very bendy, those swords. Yeah, you know, like exactly. Like, and then it bends like a goddamn yeah. like, like, like you when I see you later. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> when I get a few tricks in you. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it bends like Jason after a Manhattan on a Thursday night. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, a Manhattan? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm fancy. A, I buy you a fancy drink and you fucking get all <laughs> wet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, that is all. <laughs> that is all. All right. <laughs> no, no. Uh, okay, just uh, if we're gonna keep doing non sequiturs of things that that confuse me, yeah. Do you have you ever seen those weights like on those late night infomercials? Those dumbbells where you crank it, and the tension makes the weight heavier. Well, Do you know what I'd I'm talking like about. I first like to question 
the fact that you pay for cable. Like, what do you mean you're no, watching? No, this is like when I was 12 years old. It, it, this, this is like, okay. I think it's a Bowflex product, all right? Okay, so don't yeah. fucking try to get me in one of your fucking hey, gotcha <laughs> scenarios. All right, pay for cable. Wait, I can so- <laughs> barely, I have a shitty Roku that can barely, that doesn't get Amazon Prime, all right? I don't know, homeowner. I don't know about that, <laughs> hey, Mr. Hey, Fancy hey, no, no, no. Pass. Uh, I don't so, know, hold on. What is it? You, you click it's a it dumbbell. and it gets heavier? Yeah, you click it. It starts off at like 20 pounds. You can make it go up to like 100 pounds by turning the fucking tension on it. And I don't understand how tension creates weight. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, that doesn't we need make any we need a we need Amaretz to get on this podcast. <laughs> we need a physicist yeah. who sends satellites to space and quit his job <laughs> to become a comedian to, to to explain to us how tension adds weight to something. That is something that I would like have to say is not real. But okay. it probably is. It probably, like, thought, it's one of those things that I, I cannot make sense of, and I would stand by doesn't exist until you showed it to me. Okay. As, like a, as a Jewish man, I thought you had access to Jew knowledge that I didn't know no, about. You know? okay. But uh, it reminds me of, like a, of that crazy lamp that my grandmother has, I think I've talked about before, that you just tap and it gets brighter, 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 <laughs> and then turns off. I like how you uh, – oh, wait, okay. I was thinking about the clap on. I no, thought, but I thought you. And I thought you were talking about your grandmother's crazy lamp that no one's ever heard of. When you're talking about the clap on lamp, dude. You brought you brought the clap up, the uh, clap on before. I had one recently, like up to like uh, <laughs> like a year ago, like when my before my girlfriend moved in. I was like, we walked in and I went, and the lights turned on, and she was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" And I'm like, "You wet yet?" Yeah, Imagine, <laughs> oh my Shit. god! Imagine uh, getting broken up with because of a clap on lamp. Like shit, you don't want that clap on action. You don't like that. Da, da, you you don't mind the clap, but you don't like the clap on. Yeah, exactly. Get it because you have gonorrhea, you fucking dirty hobo. I love that. No, you know what I did though? What I had, I because I had a bunch of extension cords plugged in, but for three lamps, so it was my ambient lighting. You know, it's not just like the main light. Sorry, say it, say it again. Your what ant? My my ambient lighting. Okay, <laughs> ambient. I'm ambient lighting, and yeah. um. And so I just, you know, to me it was smooth, but it didn't, it hardly worked. It worked every five times that I did it, you know, you had to clap. Oh, that's the frustrating. Perfect as a neighbor. Pitch. Because as a it neighbor. Like, yeah. It like remembers your first clap and the second clap has to sound exactly like your first clap. And I'm not good with consistency, you know? So. No, you get home after a comedy show, you've had four or five drinks. You're going just sloppy clapping. Dude, I'm such a weirdo. I'm like, how, how do I exist in the year 1999, whatever year it was? <laughs> 19 20 20 and have a chia pet and a fucking clap yeah yeah a chia on. pet a clap on and you had one of those life alert bracelets on you and <laughs> every time you fucking have a little spill you know one of your weekly spills if i've, I've fallen i can't get up dude grandmother refuses to put life alert on i'm like just wear it you know she's like if i fall i fall <laughs> it's the end dude. it's the end uh, it's too bad that my grandfather died before we got to use it. Actually, not too bad because I have it now. Uh, just get her a camera, a little, uh, a little oh, yeah. <laughs> camera that, like we use for my dog. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> on like, my hey, phone, uh... I just follow my dog around. Just like, she, she was chewing on the the kitchen door that we we lock her into the uh, the living room when we leave, and she went from chewing on the front door to the kitchen door. Now we can yell at her for <laughs> chewing on the doors. Yeah, yell at her after the fact. I'm sure that's gonna. Yeah. Work. <laughs> it, well, no, we catch her in the act, dude. Uh, it alerts of of sound, right, or of movement. Okay. We're doing great. We're doing great here. I um, I I would love to. Uh, like I like I think if I had a pure house cat, she would just fuck up everything. They just fuck up everything you own. And I had a friend who he had these like automatic sensors around the things he didn't want the cat to fuck up, and yeah. it sprayed water when they went off. So he had like these little things, but like, they were all around like obvious areas, like the corner of the couch. So like my socks were always wet when I'm walking around this guy's house because it's just spraying <laughs> yeah. my socks. Like every time yeah. I walk by anything, you know, he's like, it's genius. And I'm like, it's not. It's not That's working. That's the dumbest invention in the world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just stupid. Your floors are wet. They're damaged. <laughs> your floors are damaged. I hope you're That's hardwood flooring. Yeah, yeah, exactly. My cherry wood. Oh. Awful ideas. Yeah, I don't know. Um, That's good stuff. That's good stuff. It? Are you looking through notes right now? Yeah, I'm trying to see. I had like hardly anything written down, though, my friend. I mean, we've also done like almost, almost an hour. Not We're at really. the good fifty three fifty seven mark, but we did go a little bit short last week. But it, but it was probably our best episode because we did. I don't think that was last week. That was two weeks ago. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. so Man, don't so uh, don't. Oh my god, we're at episode 20 right now. 
Oh my god, we should be celebrating. This is like oh, no, we should be twenty. Uh, we we're are gonna... ce- we're celebrating by not seeing each other. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like keeping some goddamn distance. Yeah, I mean, we'll be back next week, right? Yeah, I feel like I'm right fucking on. up the sound. Also, I'm keep on hitting this. Yeah, next week we're f- we're fine. Yeah, we're allowed. I think. Maybe we have to do it in the evening. I think we legally have to do it in the evening. <laughs> well, you really think that, like, like if we do it before 5 p.m., the police are going to come and give us tickets for, for not quarantining for two weeks? Dude, they call you. They try to They give you trick questions when they call you. They call. They called up and they were like... Uh, um, do you not have a friend right not now? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> try to get me double negatives? No, but, but they did... Um, they're like, uh, so how are you getting your fresh air? Like they, like you know, like they set up the. I question. opened the window and yeah. it got cold, so I shut it real quick. Yeah, I, I don't do that. I don't go outside. Why would I go outside? I'm not allowed. You said, it's really crazy. Actually, how... I asked my cat to take a deep breath and then I suck in the air from her mouth. Is what I do. Why do they not just test you at the border and then give you results? That's actually a really good point. Uh, also, why crazy. don't they just inject you with whatever Trump steroids are available? Yeah, exactly. To, I'm immune. Yeah. I'm immune. I'll say okay, it. Okay, no, that was not an invitation for you to do your shitty Trump impression. I'm <laughs> Just immune. To be clear, to be clear that was not what. So immune. I can't believe how not, immune I am. That I'm was the most not immune. It. I'm Please immune stop. to being immune, which means I'm no longer immune. <laughs> so what's up with those dumbbells that you crank up and then you just crank them and they get heavier? Everyone's working out at home. I need to work the fuck out, man. Dude, I I lent my dumbbells to uh, to a couple of uh, comedians to film a sketch. Yeah, a month ago, and they're still in my girlfriend's uh, trunk. <laughs> yeah, because you don't need them. You they had them for three days, and yeah. and and I got them back, and they're in the trunk still. I have every time them. we take a turn, you just hear clink 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 because they're like fucking dumbbells from the 1940s I got from my dad's friend. I have them, and I've only used them to make people laugh. I've only used them when they like they because <laughs> they're the five room. pounds. They're yeah. two and a half and five pounds. So you got to set. Like one time with, uh, I, I did, you know, she like left the room when we first started dating. She like went to the bathroom and when she came back in the room, I was like shirtless, just like, <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh, these? Oh, no, sorry. I thought you were. That's literally a Ron Burgundy joke. That's like a joke from the movie Anchorman, which came out in 2003. And that's when we started dating. So <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, and, uh, I, uh, and I got them because the person who used to live here, was like, hey, you mind just keeping these here? Because <laughs> I don't want to move them. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll keep. I'll act like I use them. And so I like have a like, shitty fucking uh, appliance. Yeah, for like wonderful moments, like you when you were here last time. And like, hey, by the way, do you have some weights that maybe you can lend the boys so I don't have to drive home and get them? And then I was like, yeah, I got my weights. Sure, I have my weights. My weights are right here, you know. And yeah. I can act like I just have weights because I use them. But right. no. What you don't know, and most people would never understand, is that these guns fully natural. So you're Can you like, show them off? you're like, no, not right now. They're, 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 <laughs> they're busy. They're busy uh, supporting. Your people wouldn't know it, but you've been squatting this whole episode. Absolutely, my yeah. glutes are tight. What's a glute? It's your ass, dude. Shit, son. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Man, watching too much Wire just has me going shit oh, right. all the time. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm also <laughs> dipping into it because you start and I fucking follow. I'm like, why am I doing this? I don't fucking talk like this. I will say, though, that um, my my girlfriend wants to, like, decorate for Halloween yeah. in, the, like, the front because we want to toss – we just want to, like, throw candy from our balcony at, <laughs> to children. Yeah. And uh, stop fisting your at your girlfriend towards your girlfriend <laughs> right now. For audio listeners, Orin just bit his lip and fisted the air. And I don't like it. <laughs> I Anyways, uh, so we we didn't want to carve pumpkins because like it's you know very messy. Yeah. So we painted pumpkins. We got oh my dollar store, God! Do- you dollar painted store paint. pumpkins. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> hey. I man, I started- man, hey, if if anybody here wants to listen to what a guy sounds like in the first year of their relationship, <laughs> listen to Jason. <laughs> Jason's Listen. like, yo, she, you know, she opened the door in my head, and it's no big deal. I love her, and we painted pumpkins the other day, and I love her, and I, uh, I don't, I only have nine toes, but I love her. And <laughs> Point is, uh, I painted a dog on one side of my pumpkin. One side, like dude. Do- you don't do well, two, I did two sides faces. of a pumpkin. I did. There's two sides if you paint it right. <laughs> That's right. And, if you paint uh, it wrong, you mean, yeah. So I, I painted a dog and I didn't like it. So I started like painting over. Like I, I used brown, obviously, because dogs are brown sometimes. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I just I didn't like it. So I just painted the whole one side of the pumpkin brown. And I painted a face. And I just realized it looked like I painted a black face pumpkin. 
with his face. In. <laughs> like the fact that it was had giant lips had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I accidentally put big old red lips on it. You made a black face. I on. accidentally did that, and I, I, I think I made. I think I don't think it's a black face pumpkin. I think it's an Indian cough because it's got big aviators and a big mustache and uh-huh. big old red lips and brown skin. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yeah, so it's not facing the street. It's facing the inside of the balcony, which is for me and my uh, neighbors to see only. Do you guys th- you think you're going to get trick-or-treaters? Yeah, in this neighborhood, yeah. They need their free candy. You know what I mean? Trick or crack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're Dude, get. there's so many moms walking around this neighborhood with like juicy sweatpants hanging by a thread on their fucking hips. You know what I mean? Dude, Just like the their top of the crack. Juicy. That's gross, man. Why you all, why you got to... I gotta objectify women like that. Juicy. First of all, if you're Dude. listening, I call the sweatpants juicy. Even if you're not talking about the name brand, uh, brand name juicy, the sweatpants would have been the ad- adjective that that was uh, uh, tied to. Second of all, I'm talking about juicy sweatpants, baby. You know, you know the gothic font. That would be my nickname if I had a name that started with a juicy C. Juicy sweatpants. If I had a name that started with a C, it'd definitely be juicy. Oh, Ju. I see. Yeah. Do you think yeah. they would let me do it? Do they have um, limits to personalized? Um, like, can you not make racial slurs on personalized license plates? Do they stop you, you can't, from that? You can't make uh, make racial slurs, but and you can't make racial slurs either. Um, oh, I see. What you, did you, misspoke. you misspoke. You uh, misspoke. But can you? Like, can I? Can I write? Like, uh, I think a lot of stuff could get that. Ba- could get past it because uh, the people in charge of. Uh, that department in Quebec are French yeah. and uh, you can definitely get by with like a weird slur if you really wanted to. I like that. I want to do something. What do you want? What do you ha- What's on your mind so we can get canceled immediately? <laughs> no, I'm going to save it. I can't say it online. Should we just, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want people to copy you. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. All right. Um, Oh, they're that's like, an, they're, that's. They're, oh. they're like, well, we can't. Uh, the, you, you've uh, you've used too many letters. We can't fit in the ER. I'm like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> we're cutting before that. This is over. <laughs> the podcast is over. <sighs> I didn't know there was an ER in uh, in uh, in uh, Kike. <laughs> Kiker, Kiker. There you go. Yeah. All right, we saved it. Uh, Jesus Christ, Torin, you're a fucking idiot. That's just a joke, dude. Um. What's it called? Uh, yeah, no, I don't. I would never have a personalized license plate. I would never want that much attention. It's kind of, it's kind of sad. I did just watch the new Borat movie. You and did? Don't say did, anything. I'm gonna watch it. He did a, just a lot of the, a lot of jokes, uh, Jew jokes in there. A, a lot. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty Worth funny. Guest. It's pretty funny. He definitely doesn't live up to the original, but um, it is what it is, and it's uh, still funny. Okay, if we're gonna end the podcast on a on a review of another thing. So you're telling me Jackie Kennedy, what, something crazy is happening here? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Again, if you're not watching, you're just listening, it's Jackie O. Sc- Why does she want to get out of there so bad? She seems like she's... <laughs> did she leave no. something in the trunk? Did I leave something in the trunk? Yeah, it looks like she's actually reaching for... Maybe she's going to go quick a play, a, a, play a quick uh, nine, you know? Quick nine hole. What a Golf day. clubs. Yeah, I guess so. I'm I like how to, one gonna, guy on the grassy knolls knows exactly what's happening. He's crawling away, and the other guys on the yeah. knoll are just like a couple just hanging out and having a good day. Yeah, they're very comfortable. Yeah. That's actually uh, – I, I I was actually in this picture. I just had to Photoshop it. Yeah, on. you're the dude just doing a wheelie on the motorcycle behind <laughs> yeah. her. What? Uh, I'm going to do an American tragedy, tragedy behind my background anytime I do soon. So we'll go through you know the greats. Um, but this is okay. Uh, hopefully, we don't get quarantined because I don't want to see that ever again. Uh, should we just stop this right now? <laughs> uh, are we there yet? Yeah, yeah we I definitely are. are. Yeah, we did okay. forty plus twenty. We're good. Um, remember to not that this is uh, time sensitive or anything, but I feel like we're if we're going back to this, we're running out of stuff to talk about. I kind of agree, but you don't have to call us out like that. Embarrassing. Sorry, things. sorry, but uh, hey, it's after dark, baby. There's a fucking there's the sixth wall. You got to make sure you know you don't want to cross that seventh wall or whatever they call it. So, fourth. Um, okay. Um, we are. Uh, we would like to thank you guys for joining uh, the FHP community. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, we saw. I got a few more um, high votes uh high uh on uh, on apple podcasts that was nice to see that some people are rating us and giving did us, we we got i didn't one know about two. that yeah and ah. uh, 
and uh you know things keep subscribing keep liking if you haven't subscribed and you think it doesn't matter if i subscribe or not it matters to our ego that's the main thing Mm -hmm. it really is that like we know you're watching we see your views you know we see you're one of a hundred people to watch it amazing and welcome new listeners you guys in pragu i i didn't know about you i had to research your country pragu it seems like a great place and i can't like canned sauce it's not it's not you know it's (laughs) And also, thank you, uh, Pro- thank you, Czech, Le- Czech, Czech Republic, not Czechoslovakia. Like I was gonna say, I'm sorry if I would have offended you with that. Thank yeah, Czech, you, Czech checkmate. Republic. And then Brutal. there's also uh, Kirkland, man. <laughs> Kirkland, the suburb beautiful- of Montreal, where you dreams have a beautiful go to die. signature, Kirkland. You have a beautiful signature. I love all your products. You do okay. water. You do. All right, uh, I'm gonna leave. Uh, Is please. hold on one second before you go. Is Kirkland signature a Montreal thing? No, it's fucking Costco brand. It's got nothing to do with... It's just a common name. Oh, uh, I always thought it all came from Kirkland, that small No, little you're little. stupid as hell. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Bye, baby, buddy. Friendship, friendship, friendship. Oh,